What's up, plant people? Hey guys, um, if you don't know me already, my name is Ashley and this is my YouTube channel dedicated to plant videos. Today I will be discussing, in my opinion, the five most common but easiest plants available, um, at least in the states that I have been in, I have seen these. Number one on my list is a snake plant. Those are pretty much the hardest plants to kill. Whenever you go to big box stores, they're normally labeled as, um, what is it, like steel, steel plants. Basically, they're very hard to kill. And that goes for all the varieties, pretty much. I mean, there's a lot of them, but pretty much any Lowe's or Home Depot that you go to, or even Walmart, you can find a snake plant in it. Um, I'm not completely positive about what this variety is, but this one I've had for many years, and it is super easy to take care of. I actually keep it in my bathroom, um, but snake plants could pretty much stay indoors, outdoors, um, and any environment pretty much. And then also as watering goes for that plant, um, I water it maybe once a month, if that in the winter time, you could do it like once every two months. Um, the plant really does not need that much water. Just maybe whenever it's shooting out a new leaf, it may need a little bit at that point. The second most common but easiest house plant would be pothos and specifically golden pothos. This plant I have actually had since my grandmother passed away and I'm pretty sure that was back in like 2011. It might have been earlier than that and it is still a going and I have made so many new plants off of this one plant so if that tells you anything it's 2020 and this thing's still here this is a very long lasting easy plant to take care of. It's easy to propagate and it also is a very forgiving plant just like the snake plant. You can go without watering it for a little while and it will be okay. You can overwater it and it will be okay. It is a very awesome plant. I really enjoy this plant. I actually have about four or five of them around my home, out on the patio, in my bathroom, in my bedroom. So this one's pretty cool. The third easiest plant in my opinion would definitely be any type of cacti. I have this little guy with me right here. I actually got him at a plant swap um, that we had in the fall time and I just thought he was so cute. He actually has pushed out a new little guy up here. Anyways, <laughs> all cacti and I say some succulents but mostly cacti are extremely hard to kill. You hardly ever have to water them. Yeah, I mean, that was kind of a given, but cacti are just really easy plants. Just make sure to keep them away from young children or animals. The fourth plant that is on my list would be the inch plant, also called a wandering Jew. This one I actually have propagating. Um, I have an entire plant outside, but I didn't want to like get it untangled from the macrame. But this plant's also extremely easy to propagate. I'm gonna do a video on that. But it's beautiful. I love the glitteriness of the leaves. It's just one of my favorites. Yeah, as far as it being common, I feel like it is at most big box stores, especially in the summer and springtime. And um, it's so easy to take care of. They can be inside. They do prefer more outside, warmer, more humid, environments but they can be inside by a window as well they just grow faster outside and even in Florida where I currently live they're considered invasive that's how easy they grow this one is very easy to take care of you can pretty much I would say overwatering it is more safe with this plant than underwatering because it is way more forgiving with overwatering than underwatering Either way, it's been very easy to propagate and keep care in my opinion. My last plant on this list is going to be an arrowhead syngonium, which is also another very common plant at most stores. This is my plant right here. I have had it for a couple years now and it has grown so much. It started off as just like a little one in like the size of this and it has grown this big. 
it is fast growing and it also likes to grow in clumps so I've been able to take it apart and even make new plants on the side. This guy's just super easy. You can take them inside, outside, and it'll pretty much survive. It does like to have light available to it. Um, but as far as watering, this one's extremely forgiving as well. Just kind of whenever you remember to water it or if it seems droopy, then, you know, give a good swish. <laughs> this plant has been very easy in my time that I've had it and I also love it when new leaves shoot out because it has that little pink on the inside and I just think it's a very pretty plant. That is it for this video. Um, if you would like to follow my Instagram I will list it right here and I also have an Etsy and a Depop as well if you want to check those out but either way I will be posting weekly I do not have a specific schedule that I am posting on um, just because I am trying to adjust my life to doing this as well but I'm hoping it will be at least a couple times a week but that is it leave a like or a comment um, subscribe if you'd like to and I will see you in the next video bye Cut.